Leos, welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new Leos. Let's go ahead and see what the energy has in store. Anything that you need will be in the description if you want a reading. If you want to follow me on my other YouTube channels, I have an astrology channel as well as a pick card channel. And subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to see future uploads. If you want to go live and take personal reading questions. But let's see what's going on. First two cards are three. We have the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Queen or King of Swords. We got the Six of Wands, the Devil. Let's get one more. We have the Hierophant. We have Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So we have the book, Fox, Key. Lily. Ring, the woman, clouds, man, ma mountain, I almost said magician because <laughs> of the way I was looking at this card. And we have the tree. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, so give me a second to kind of digest what I'm looking at because it's a lot of messages coming through. So first thing you may not be expecting to happen, there may be a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio of significance during this time frame that's going to give you some sort of apology or could get caught up in some sort of lie or information that they may have left out or may have not disclosed and you could receive some sort of apology for this now for some of you this may have already happened where you found out some things and you've been side-eyeing the person ever since but this feels like for some of you if this hasn't happened already this could happen this could even be this doesn't have to necessarily be a romantic interest this could be a family member who you know didn't disclose certain pieces of information to you that was important or um how do i say this this could be you finding out some information via your person's phone and they have to like explain themselves or apologize for it anywho beyond that Another thing that you may not be expecting to happen for my Leos who are getting back into their creative endeavors and no longer like running away from their creative passions or, you know, the things that you may do on social media for some of you, uh, you could be seeing where growth or change needs to happen and seeing what exactly is either hindered you previously from succeeding or currently. So if there's any blockages with you, you know, getting a business started up again or just starting a business period, you could be learning a lot during this time frame too though, in terms of, you know, little mistakes that you could be making along the way that you could change and ultimately change the outcome of what you have going on. You could also realize what has been keeping a romantic relationship from improving or for my singles you finding new love you can start to pinpoint like actually be able to pinpoint what has been the problem or what is the issue and if it is like a cheating issue and you find out that this is going on it could put a lot of color as to why your partner has been a little disconnected but kind of going deeper, uh, there could be, huh, if you do like side jobs for someone, you could be tricked out of like, or not, I don't want to say tricked. You could have somebody who you work with on some sort of like, again, side hustle, gigs or something that shorts you out of your money and you may start to realize that this is going on or they may do it in this time frame 
okay? But they won't be successful at it because you may notice immediately. But anywho, with the book, Fox and the Key here as well, if you're in school currently, you could have somebody <laughs> in your class or who you pass by all the time going to class uh, who could have an interest in you and could try to approach you during this time frame. Okay, this could even be you having like even a coworker who could have some sort of interest and they finally express it during this time frame. You could also gain some valuable information about someone around you, about them being sneaky, because the book represents knowledge and the fox represents sneaky energy, shady energy, and it's right up under the Seven of Swords, which is interesting too. But yeah, if there is any shady stuff going on with a friend around you, lover, that information may become privy to you by you witnessing certain things, getting certain pieces of information from either mutual friends or again, something may come across your desk, your desk that makes you kind of maybe look at certain people in terms of their loyalty and their genuineness. Um, and for some of you, it may not even be necessarily deception. Uh, this could be just a lack of like showing up as an authentic or their authentic self. So anybody who's hiding their true intentions or their true colors, that would come out too. I also have the lily ring and woman. Oh, wait, I okay, I just got something. If during this time frame you're randomly offered certain opportunities that seem as if they're too good to be true, definitely make sure that you're doing the proper research. You could have a boss promote you, but not in the sense where they're trying to give you extra pay, but um, they're trying to more so put more work on you because they don't have anybody else to do it. So just be careful. That's just an example. Um, but be careful of any opportunities that just like randomly come out of the blue because there could be like a trick behind it. Like someone's intentions may not be pure around what they could be offering. This could be even somebody offering to help you move for free and it may not necessarily be that they're gonna do it for free, but they could be coming off as if they're just gonna do that. Anywho, uh, but with the Lily, the ring and the woman here, if you've been on some sort of break from a love interest here, there could be some sort of commitment that they make to show up for this relationship finally or to show up differently okay there could also be just this level of like you guys getting back in contact and immediately like getting back together or for some of you it can even bring your relationship even closer the fact that you guys have taken a break and had a chance to evaluate what the relationship needs what you may need okay Hmm. Yeah, especially with the ring being here, the distance between you two could cause somebody to really apply pressure during this time frame. Even if it was you guys just taking like a, a little break, but it may have felt like forever. Now, I have the clouds, men, and the mountain here. There could be a divine masculine who has a lot of stuff going on that they don't want to disclose and they may start to act very secretive or distant because of that. They could have like financial issues going on, uh, family problems, like just random stuff going on and they could be distancing themselves uh, and it could seem almost as if they're shutting down, but they could be secretly going through things and not really knowing how to process it. Shoot, if you're a divine masculine watching this, you may find yourself just wanting to kind of like go into your own mode or hermit mode for some time. Not because you're going through like, like problems outwardly, but this could be energetic. 
obstacles that you're you're working through, whether this is, you know, emotional struggles that you could be going through or whatnot. Yeah, but these are just some of the things that I'm seeing. I hope that I put some context to what to expect. Uh, if you did take something from this reading, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.